it's here. Day 100 of Animal Crossing. A hundred days in a row of waffle ham goodness. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody and welcome to the internet. It's a Saturday. I'm on it and so are you. Are you ready for a good couple hours of some Animal Crossing contents? Oh my good gracious. There is so many things to show you. I spent last night getting a whole bunch of things already. I was sprucing up the island, I was cleaning up all the litter, I was um, redoing some of the paths, I was just making Waffleham the best place it could be to celebrate a hundred days of Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we're here. I can't believe it happened. I, w I was going to go to like, you know, 30 days in a row, like a month in a row, and then I was going to go to like 50, and then I was going to go to 69. <laughs> uh, and then somehow we've ended up getting to 100 all in a row of Animal Crossing streams, and we've kicked butt, and it's amazing. Um, yeah, so today is going to kind of be like a celebration of Waffle Ham. I believe we've also got Eugene moving in, uh, but also... It's the bug off today, and I think there might be a time limit on the bug off as well. Does it go away at six o'clock? Because if so, we should probably do that first. Um, <laughs> so yeah, there's a few things to do, many sites to see, many people to meet again. Uh, I kind of want to do like a, a retrospective of the island, you know, sort of go go around saying hi to all the all the villages, looking at all the all the scenes that we've built up over the year. Um, I say year, it's it's only been like three months, but still. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, that's that's where we're at today. It's going to be a bit of a nostalgia for the last three months. Um, <laughs> anyway, shall we get right into it? Because, again, there isn't much time to do the whole bug off thing. So, yeah, right away, you might see some changes when we load the game here. You might see some things I've spruced up, some things I've put down, some things I've taken away. I've done my best to make Waffle Ham as presentable as it can be. Um... Yeah, so let's just get right into it, okay? Okay, so this is the one spot that I didn't change anything about. So that's great. Um, <laughs> Octavian's looking amazing, though. Look at that suit. Ooh. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing okay today. I hope you're all carrying on staying safe and stuff. It's it's not as hot today. It's still a bit hot, but it's it's bearable today. <laughs> Hello there, everyone. Right now on Waffle Ham, it's 4.12 p.m. on Saturday, June the 27th, 2020. How's this for exciting news? Waffle Ham is hosting its very first bug off. The tourney will run until 6 p.m. Anyone can participate. Just check in at the tent in the plaza. Now for additional announcements. We have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Waffle Ham welcome to Eugene. It makes me so happy to have a new friend on the island. And for one more announcement, definitely. Today is also the 100th day of us being on Waffle Ham, canonically. Um, have a fun day out there. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, let's get to it. Oh, I've got mail. No, wait, the opposite of that. I've got a phone call. <laughs> Just stuff that I put in the Dropbox, that's fine. I genuinely thought for a moment someone was ringing me to congratulate me, but never mind. Never mind. No one cares. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, I have spruced up the, um, the castle courtyard, made it look a bit more wild, added some weeds, added some little, like, grass growing over the paths and stuff. And these amazing little stars I thought I'd put down as a sort of sprinkle of rainbow powder all over my castle courtyard. Um, I love it. I love it so much. But that's not all. We also have spruced up the sort of um, fairy ring a bit as well. Added a bit more style and pizzazz to it. Um, we've also, wow, we've had a gold rose grow. We've had two gold roses grow. Holy crap. Okay. Wow. Any green mums, though? No. No green mums. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> do, do, do. 
Yeah, um, we've also got to work on putting all of our decorations down for when we move Kiki's house. We're obviously going to have a witchy library theme going on. Um, yeah, so, so far, I'm really, really loving what we've done with Waffle Ham. Oh my gosh, right, yes, that's the thing that happened. I, I realized we were only a couple days out before June and the event was over, so I made sure to cash in some of my crystals. I forgot that that would cause all this. Um, <laughs> let's just go to Marina's message. You're amazing, Lollipop. I absolutely love the birthday gift that you gave me. I'm envious of your ability to find great presents, but I'm not nearly as good as you are. But I do want to say thanks by sending along a little something. Truly grateful, Marina. There we go. Of course, it was Marina's birthday yesterday. And we gave them the Waffle Ham Classic gift. The tradition, honestly, at this point of the birthday coconut. And look, I cleared out my inventory. See, it's, I'm just full of surprises today. We've just done so many things. Ladder shades. Amazing. Oh my gosh, they're green. They actually match the outfit weirdly. Okay. <laughs> okay. Day 100. I thought I'd treat you guys to, like, space in my inventory. Um, <laughs> yeah, so as we go around here, you might notice a few sprinkles of some new things. Um, I've just been trying to spruce up the path a little bit. Um, also, we now have Eugene's house moved in, and oh my gosh, if this doesn't just complete the whole set here. Oh my gosh. The sort of slightly run-down look of the roof and the walls and this run-down yard, and oh my gosh, this actually will tie together perfectly. Holy crap. I say hi to Eugene, he's on our island. Oh my gosh. So this is going to be his office, I guess, just down the way from the diner. Slightly dingy. I have to sneeze. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> but what was I saying? Hi, Eugene. Well, look who the koala dragged in. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> nah, I knew you'd show up eventually, so, so I want you to know that the convo we had back when we met at the campsite, well, it really stuck with me. Well, I can't remember exactly what you said, but whatever it was, it got me to move to this island. And so far, it feels meant to be. Nice, you will fit right in, Eugene. Oh my gosh. Holy crap, yeah. So, um, all of this stuff is pretty much untouched up here, but we finally finished the diner yesterday as well. We got all the windows installed. Looking amazing. Uh, I love what we did with the road design. We did this a couple of days ago, and we, oh man, it, it actually tied together really well. I was really worried I was going to have to use, like, five different designs to do, like, corner pieces and stuff. But somehow we sort of tricked it into just using vertical and horizontal lines, but still making it look like a road. I'm really impressed with how that came out, honestly. <laughs> Um, oh, looks like Kiki's ready for the bug off. Um, shall we save all the shopping and business like that for later? Shall we Shall we just focus on the bug off for now, actually? I realise if I dilly-dally and spend too long explaining stuff, we, we'll have no time to actually do the, the event today, so... Oh, Octavian's out and about. Marina's out. Oh, everyone's here for the bug off. I love it. Okay. So you might see a few new decors all about. I've tried to spruce up the plaza a bit, get it ready for the Pride Festival tomorrow. Um, similarly, I have, there we go, worked on the rainbow garden and given it like a nice little path so that flowers can't grow on the sand. And I think that came out really well. Um, also, we're still missing one green mum. Damn it. We're one flower short of our rainbow garden. Ah, okay, okay. It's fine, it's fine. We might be able to make it happen. It might just, like, duplicate itself, right? It's fine. There we go. Everything's fine. <laughs> We've got stale cupcakes playing on the soundstage. I've also moved some of the carnival-themed things here to the beach. Because I figure for the Pride Parade tomorrow, that's going to be that's gonna be fun stuff to have out and about. Ca cotton candy and stuff. Um, yeah. Ooh! And Peanut's out and about. Oh, I love how everyone's out and about doing the bug off here. It's great. Also, why does it sound so weird to say bug off? It <laughs> sounds like I'm saying something strange. Drift has sent us a recipe for a trophy case. Ah, which I already know. There we go. But yeah, I guess we should just get right into it and make sure we don't actually miss it today. 
Um, so yeah, this looks really cool. Oh my gosh. Hey, Flick. Hey, it's showtime for the summer bug off. You excited? Of course you are. You feel it, right? That electricity. Today the wall is thinner between this world and the infested realms. The rules for the bug off are simple. Each round you catch as many bugs as you can within three minutes. I'll give you points depending on how many bugs you catch. Collect a lot of points and you can redeem them for sacred, bug-related relics I've been able to acquire. During the bug off, the bugs you catch are miraculously transubstantialized to the bug cage over by the tent. You can play around any time as long as you've got a net. No pocket space required. So, are you ready to join your fellow pilgrims in the bug off? There is no entry fee for first timers. Uh, screw it, yeah, let's go. W wonderful, that's great. I think you'll find it illuminating uh, and fun. Okay, I'm gonna start the timer for three minutes. You're gonna catch bugs, any kind. Just catch a lot. Oh, and you'll get bonus points if you catch at least three, so uh, good luck. All right, get ready to transcend. Okay, I re okay, I really like how like overboard they went with that. Um, okay, bug off, bugs. Oh god, I've seen none. There are none here. Where are all the bugs? There's no bugs. Where are the bugs? <laughs> Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Where, where, where are the bugs? <laughs> ah! One. One. Uh. Uh, wait, wait, yes, I can cheese it. <gasps> two, two. I can catch the ants. I knew there was a reason I left that picnic out. <laughs> definitely, definitely this is what I planned. Yes! Oh my gosh. It was kind of cheesy, but there we go. Okay, what we, what we got, what we got, what we got. Any more, any more? Come on. I can't just catch three. Come on, five. I can go for five. Where, where are they? Any war fruitures? Anything? Oh my god, I'm doing terrible. My island is full of such amazing scenery that it makes it quite awkward to walk around. <laughs> Wait! Oh, that was a shell. I thought it was a bug. Nothing on the trees. There's nothing here. Oh my god. We're halfway through my time and I've got three things. A fossil there. Remember that player. <gasps> no! Where are you? No! <laughs> Dude! Shut up! Oh, come on! No! Kiki! Kiki! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just... No! <laughs> come on! Okay, that, that was good. That was good. We, we got two there. Oh my god. Oh, I thought that was a bug for a moment. I don't know what I thought that was. That was weird. No more. No more. Ah, where did that special butterfly go? There was a really amazing butterfly and I just couldn't get it. Is it down here? Might have gone down here. I think it's just gone. Oh wait, there's one up there. Oh, I kind of want to shoot down the balloon. No, no time. Focus. Ten seconds, can I get one more? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I was hoping there was ants here, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> there wasn't. <laughs> okay. Still, for my first go, that was something, right? Right? Hey, how was it? Did you make progress on your personal journey toward true infestation? If you're looking for any new friends you caught during the round, they're in the bug cage by the tent. As always, I'm happy to buy any bugs with whom you don't plan to form a lasting relationship. But before we talk about any buying or selling, let's tally up your round results. The total number of bugs in the bug cage is... Six! That's at least three, so you get a bonus. Well done! 
You earned eight points. And any more points you earn will be automatically added to your total. Save up enough points. You can redeem them for mighty bug-related relics. Ask me about that later. Okay. Well, I guess... I mean, it's just going to be stuff we already have, right? There's, there's no new bugs, really. I think we've caught pretty much every bug. Except for there's one bug that appears on stumps that we haven't caught yet. But apart from that one, I think everything else we're happy to give away. Uh, buy them all. Buy them all. Really? You don't need them as spiritual guides? I mean, let me just add it up for you. Let's see, how many bugs? Six. Given species, metaphysics. Uh, 1,000 bells. Really? Oh, okay, well, we're not going to make much money from this today, but hey, it should still be a fun event. Okay. I'm, I'm ready for you more rounds. Cool. Oh, thank you. You is cool too. Um, but... Do we, do we get to see what the relics are yet? Redeem points? My point total is eight. Once you save up ten, I can get a relic. Okay, okay, so one more round, one more round. Also, I think we just got a milestone for that. We're doing our first bug off. Yeah, there we go. What's the summer event to look forward to? That's right, the bug off. Nook Inc. will give you Nook Miles for participating, so by all means, join the fun. Boop. Adolescent youngster. Okay. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, apparently there's, like, one on the fourth Sunday of every month for, like, the next few months. For, like, all of summer, basically. So, even if we don't get everything today. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so sneezy today. Also, we've officially reached day 100 on the island. 100. It's just 100. Nicknamed Gamer. <gasps> Gamer? That's an amazing one. Oh my gosh. Now for 300. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. Um, so, um, I kind of want to... Hold on. I can't, before I forget that I got that title, it's actually a really good title. So one moment. Uh, title. Yeah, there we go. Okay, okay. What can we put? Although, to be fair, Internet Princess is what I had before, which is pretty good. Um, so... <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ultimate Gamer! No. Um, <laughs> maybe I actually had the best title before, honestly. None of these are working for me. Shame you can't get princess as a as a prefix word. Prefix uh, princess gamer would be amazing. <laughs> I haven't seen any that work yet. I kind of wanted to go back to princess. I'm gonna be honest. Yep. Yeah, we're wasting a lot of time here. <laughs> I've got so many titles in these past, like, 100 days. This is ridiculous. Let's just stick with Internet Princess, eh? There we go. Um, right. a random bit of fence there. I'm just doing this. Okay, so you're saying that if I enter this building, it will reset all the bugs and then I can do the bug off again. I'm also just checking the terminal while I'm here. Um, <laughs> KK Stroll. Oh, we've already got that one. I think we've already got everything there. Okay. Right. So your points carry over in between events. So even if you don't just get everything on the first day, you still get three other days to do it on, all the way up until September. So, like, I'm not I'm not totally fussed, honestly. I'm going to do what I can today. Um, maybe get up to 100 points. That's what I did with the fishing contest. But beyond that, it doesn't really matter. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. 500 bells per entry for the next round. Okay, that's fine. 
Okay, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, go! Kiki, where are the butterflies? Kiki, where are the bugs? Where did all the bugs go? I just heard one! Oh my god! <laughs> They're gonna be around the flowers, right? There were a lot of butterflies around here earlier. Oh my god, where are they now? Oh my god! Seriously? Ah, oh, there's one! Yes! There's a butterfly over there too! Oh! Curse my brilliant design and how I can't get over there! <laughs> I'm wasting so much time just trying to get one butterfly here! There we go! <laughs> I do love the music for this, it's really uplifting. I like the tuba. <laughs> I, I can't see any bugs, guys. What is happening? Where are they all? There's one. Oh my gosh, am I really gonna run all the way back around just to get one butterfly? I need those three points. Oh my god, I can't even reach it. Curse my beautiful island! I'm looking on the beach exactly. Oh wait, the ants come back every time. Aha! Oh, the, the flower garden as well. There's a butterfly in there. Perfect. Okay, we got five. That's not bad. Considering the rough start, we've recovered. I mean, as long as they get like eight points each time, we'll be at a hundred before we know it, right? Totally. I'm missing a lot of balloons, just focusing on bugs here. And why am I looking on the beach? There's gonna be nothing on the beach. I'm wasting so much time. There's really nothing there either. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> Ten seconds, come on, come on. One more. Beat my score! Beat my score! <laughs> nah. It's over. Oh well. What if I get eight every time? Like I said, that seems to be what I'm doing so far. I'm wasting so much time getting back to Flick as well. <laughs> oh, the balloon's still there though. Yay. Oh my god. Who put this amazing rainbow stall here? Who's putting all these amazing decorations everywhere, getting in the way of my bug hunt? Come on, come on. We, we gotta get like a hundred. A hundred points and we're good, right? Yes, eight points, eight points, okay. Oh, that's a, that's a slingshot! <laughs> go, 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 go! Come on, can I get ten points? If I can get ten points, I'll be ultimate pro gamer. Because I'm seeing a lot of like, well, a lot of shade in chat saying that I'm not, I'm not professional at video games. But I'll prove you wrong. Eighteen was your max? Jeez. Okay, I'm obviously doing something wrong here. <laughs> Go. <gasps> Grasshopper. You. Where'd it go? Oh my god. <laughs> the ants didn't come back. 
Oh no. Waste of time, waste of time. Why am I going that way? Focus. Flowers. The big flowers are where I need to be. Just, where, where are all the bugs? Seriously, what am I doing wrong? Aha! Oh, oh. Sure glad I got my one point here. All those sick bugs that I see on this island, yep. Yep, sure I'm getting bugs here. This might take a while, guys. <laughs> Seriously, I... Okay, two. Two bugs, wow. Oh my god. <laughs> Am I doing something wrong here? Like, there's no bugs. <laughs> that what? <laughs> what was that? Oh my god, there's loads up here! This is where they've all been hiding! Oh my god, there's like five butterflies in there! And a bee! Oh my god. Okay. Oh, goodness me. Fiona's been hoarding them all. <laughs> this is ridiculous! I can't swap back to my neck quick enough! There we go. What is happening? What? <laughs> oh my god! I'm panicking. I'm panicking. It won't let me go over! <laughs> well, got my exact same score again. <laughs> Why were they all here? Why were they all in the dig site? That's like the last place I would have looked. Literally was. peek inside the cranny, we'll respawn the ants, and also we can buy something to just make myself feel better. <laughs> okay, there's a pool table. Brilliant. Sorry, billiards table. I can't afford it. Okay, so I have like 24 points. Actually, you know what? Considering I only wanted to get up to 100, that's 24 points from just like three goes. I mean, we'll be fine. We're fine. We're gonna get all the rewards. We're f There's so many butterflies now. I'm seeing so many bugs now. <laughs> oh my god. It's a bit awkward to have to go through all of this every single time as well. <laughs> I just want to sell the bugs. Oh, that was actually quite a lot for that one. There we go. Okay. Oh my god, I can see like three butterflies on the screen right now. Come on, start the round, start the round. Okay. 
Thank you. That's not a net. <laughs> One. One already in the first second. Come on. If I if I, at this speed I'll have like three hundred. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Octavia missed. Aha, it's mine. You snooze, you lose. <laughs> there we go. That's much better. See, I'm happier now. I'm happy. I, I could just retire on these four butterflies, honestly. Who needs more? Oh, ants. No, Coco, mine. <laughs> Okay, this is good. This is good. We're getting back. Getting back in the swing of things. Look, I've got six already and we're, we've got two minutes left. That means I'll get 18 by the time we're done. If this would just come over here, if this... If you could just... Really awkward. There we go. Seven. This is my best score yet, guys. I'm, I'm breaking records here. This is great. Oh my gosh, never before has this level of skill been seen. You put this in. <laughs> okay, where have they all gone now? Did I catch too many? I don't know where they are now. I didn't see any in the Fiona corner. Move, Coco! <laughs> really, is this it? I beat my score by one and then they just stopped spawning. Some around here, actually, right? Yeah! <laughs> okay, I'm fine with that, I'm fine with that. We got we got nine, that's eleven points, right? That's my that's my personal best. Wait! Oh okay, that's fine. Oh, oh, oh my god, there's like two right there. Okay, whatever. We're all good. Eleven points. Excellent. Okay, okay. Sell all things. Three thousand bells, a pop roughly. That's not actually not bad. Might be able to buy the billiard table just with this money. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Now, I already saw two, like, right up here. Where'd they go? I can't see because there's a thing in the way. <laughs> oh my god, they're all here under the bridge! <laughs> they're all here! They were trying to hide! Little bugger. Ooh. Right, I'll ignore that one. Or will I? Haha, <laughs> that's just what I wanted you to think. <laughs> 
So there does seem to be a lot around the plaza. So maybe me going all the way up north, it's just, yeah, it's taking way too much time. When really I should just frolic around these fields here. Oh, peanut! No, I'm sorry! It's mine! <laughs> oh, you're cheering me on! Oh, you're my bestie! Next time there's a bug off, it might be worth just putting down like a million rotted turnips and just catching ants everywhere. Because the ants seem quite reliable. If they respawn every time I like enter and exit a house. I can't see anymore. Oh, there was one. I got ten! I got ten! I did it! Oh, there's one there! I'm mm, not going to be able to reach that one. Oh, there was one! Ah, I, mi I missed the ones on the flowers. They're hard to see when I'm just running fast. But I gotta go fast. If I just run around like this quadrant. The layout of my island does not make it easy to go to all the all the big spaces. There's a lot in the way every time. Okay, okay, we're done, we're done. It's fine, I got ten, that's a new PB. Twelve points, there we go. How many points are we on now? We'll find out in a moment. Yeah, if I remove all the props and buildings and terraform my island to be completely flat, um, if we just do that quickly in the next, like, ten minutes, then we'll be fine. <laughs> Tell me when I pass 100 points. Oh, that's great. Okay. Let's do it. You know, if this if this did go past 6 o'clock, I know it doesn't, but if it did, catching like a bunch of fireflies at night would make this quite simple too, because there's a lot of fireflies every night. Okay, where are they? Ah, there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, there's usually a butterfly here. Oh no. Oh no, I'm suddenly not doing good. Try and go up to a hundred, and then that will give us all like the. Ooh, I nearly stepped over those. There we go. That will give us all the all the. Ooh. Nope. The focus. Focus. <laughs> Okay, there's like none spawning, guys. Oh, oh, dragonfly. Eek. Why, why do this? Oh, thing in the pool. Th thing th <laughs> I can't reach it. Ah, there we go. There we go, okay. We didn't do so bad this time. Rocky start, but we've recovered. If I can push to get like at least 10 points a go, then 
we'll, we'll be done in no time. I've made the mistake of going all the way over here. That just This is just wasting time. I'm not going to see... Oh, wait. Oh! <laughs> oh, wait. There's actually, like, two here. Oh, my God. <laughs> please! 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 There we go. <laughs> Oh, I, there was one there, but I couldn't figure out how to get around the tree because I couldn't see. Oh, there was something there too. Okay, fine, fine. Oh, you! I can't see the ones on the flowers. Oh, yes! Ants! Thank you, ants. Ants. We did it! We got 10 points! I knew we would! Definitely! Okay! Buy them all! Do it! And we get like 3,000 bells to go. Yeah, we can get that billiards table. That'll be my reward. Ooh, stressful stuff, this bug off, eh? <laughs> Mostly because I'm starting the stream at four, so I've, I only have like two hours to do it, and we've already wasted an hour. Oh my gosh. But it's okay. I don't really know why I'm panicking because, like, like we said, that it's happening every every fourth Sunday now until September. So we've got plenty of opportunities. But yeah, man, a hundred days in a row. I I want to talk about that because I, I I I don't know if you saw my tweet earlier, but I, when this lockdown started, I knew I was gonna have like mental health struggles. I knew it was gonna be a stressful time. Um, and having this little project to do during the lockdown. Like, literally, the day Animal Crossing came out, that was, like, two days before the UK announced going into lockdown. So having, like, a hundred days of just having this little project to work on, of streaming, like, a hundred days in a row, like, I, f I can't believe we've done it, but you, you, just thank you guys so much for keeping me company and for, for pushing me through this little task. It's, it's been an absolute treat, and it's kept me, it's kept me relatively sane during this whole thing, so... We did flounder a bit in the 80s, where we weren't sure whether to like time travel or not, and we were running out of things to do. And then we, we dared to time travel, and then we, we haven't looked back since, really, because ever since we did that and we got that fairy rock circle built, it's like the whole island just like all came together. Everything just made sense. Everything just worked suddenly. I love it. How, how did I not get that? Oh my god. How did that elude me? And yeah, I don't know how long the streak will go on for beyond 100. 100 felt pretty much like the, the cut-off point. I can't imagine me being able to do 200. Um, but I, I can see myself doing this at least for like another week. Like, we've got the big update coming out next um, next Friday, so I'll at least be doing that. And um, we want to do a big sort of like pride celebration tomorrow. Our big Sunday stream tomorrow, you know, I can invite a bunch of you over. We can like have a little pride festival, which is what I've been building over the last couple of weeks. It's good. Oh, how did I miss that one? And yeah, I've got other games I want to play as well. So I, I don't want it to just I don't want to just become an Animal Crossing channel, you know. There's other stuff I very much want to play and do. Lots of stuff from the Steam Summer Sale and things like that. Oh man, I keep missing the ones that are on the flowers. Oh, this is my worst one yet because I've mostly just been chatting. <laughs> it's fine. Ants. And um, Paper Mario comes out in a couple of weeks as well, and I, I'm kind of actually quite excited for that too. Paper Mario on the Switch. I think it'll be good. 
There's the Pokemon DLC as well, but I wanna I wanna wait until both DLCs are out so I can sort of do a whole sort of like marathon stream of those. Ooh, ooh. Can I still get eight points? <gasps> come on, come on. Yes! Okay, that's not so bad, considering I was chatting and waffling for the whole duration of that one. We actually ended up with, with some good points there. There we go. Man, I'm I'm I don't know about the total war campaign guys. <laughs> like would you what I, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. I am a complete noob. I, I don't understand how the game works and I don't wanna be like, you know, five streams into a campaign and everyone's really engrossed in it and then I just don't know what to do next and we just die. Maybe. I do wanna try green skins and I do wanna try Skaven. And maybe Beastmen as well. There's like I, I wanna try like a giant goat person and have that be like a tribute to Fiona, I don't know. <laughs> Also, we still need um, some ideas for what to do with Fiona's um, tier 2 and tier 3 emotes, guys. Because since they added those extra slots last week, um, this week, wait, what week are we in? Oh my god, the lockdown, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, we, we need like eight ideas. For this channel too, honestly, like I've just I've just shoved a bunch of Animal Crossing faces in as my tier two emotes, but th those aren't really what I want to keep. Like I want to I want to do proper like hand drawn ones like all the others. Right, this is gonna be an ongoing thing. <laughs> That dragonfly was my arch nemesis. <laughs> I couldn't get them. Ah, but I do seem to like get caught on the bridge quite a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh come on. <laughs> oh. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No. No. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, yes. 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 Mm, I do squid, I do, but like I feel like the tier two and tier three ones have to be like extra special ones. And I'm not sure what like what one what that would be exactly. I know a lot of you want Fiona Chef's Kiss because that would be an amazing emote. Is that like tier two worthy? Or I, I I don't I don't know what I don't know how to like qualify what one should be worthy of tier one and what one should be worthy of tier two. You know how special do they have to be to be tier two emotes? Or do you literally just want more emotes that are the equivalent of tier one but you pay a bit extra to get more? Maybe I don't know. Maybe they don't have to be special. You just want more of them. That's fair too, I guess. Cause, cause, Jesus guys, I've got 57 emotes on this channel now. And I am, I am out of ideas. I am completely tapped. <laughs> The, the last one I added to the bittermost thing was me as a baby. Like, I am out of ideas. Ah, I didn't think I could reach that. Ah, we've wasted a bit of time here. We're gonna have to walk all the way back. I got, I got stuck there. 
again, spent so much time waffling about things, I wasn't actually paying attention, but still managed eight points, so... Oh, I was about to catch those as well. No, no. <laughs> Save those. Right, just doing that to refresh the bugs. There we go. But yeah, we must be on like 60 points or something by now, right? 50, 60 points roughly. We're nearly at 100. Hasn't been that bad, honestly. It's actually been quite chill once we stopped panicking after the first round. <laughs> oh, oh. That noise signifies we've only got an hour left, <laughs> so. Okay. Oh, I did not just start around, I just ran off. Oh my god. Okay, I'm ready to transcend. Here we go. There's no bugs here. There are, there are zero bugs. There's nothing here. <laughs> There's no bugs. Butterfly. Butterfly. Kiki, don't. What? What are you looking at? Is there a bug there? Why don't I see it? Oh, there it is. Oh, Kiki, no. My net, please. There we go. <laughs> Mosquito counts. Mosquito counts. Good old reliable ants. Good old reliable mosquitoes. If I could just catch them, oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> We've got nine. I'm happy with that. Oh, there was one fight there. <laughs> We'll just loop back around. Oh, oh, oh. Can I? Ah, it's hard to get those because they're always on the front of the tree and I have to walk around it and scare them. Ah, well. Nine points. That's cool. That one missing green flower is annoying me. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, that's fine. I guess we don't need that today, really, but... 
It'd be worse if it was a net. I want Flick's net. Looks amazing. Okay. Well, that's like another 11 points, right? Like, we gotta be close to the hundo. One more, maybe? Maybe two more? Okay, here we go. Mosquito! Where'd it go? Mosquito! There we go. <laughs> now, if we could just put fleas on all of our villagers. <laughs> Happy 100 day anniversary. Aw, thank you. Yeah, holy crap. 100 days in a row. Would not have thought I could pull this off. <laughs> Two years ago, roughly, I would have been like, nah, mate. But I don't know, I've just got more confident with this over the years and just, I don't know, it's been alright. It's been good. No more bugs? Any bugs? Bugs? Anybody? Anyone? Anyone? Nope. Okay. I don't know, there's barely any bugs over there by those houses. I should stop checking there. <laughs> I never see any. Here though, oh my gosh. I hear another one. <gasps> you! Yes! <gasps> it's happening! Ants? Oh wait, did I catch the ants? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, another one? Wow, lots of mosquitoes suddenly. This. <laughs> there we go. Wow, we're doing pretty good on this one. I say, as all the bugs disappear suddenly. Um, it's fine. We got eight points. We're good. Seriously, where did they all go? <laughs> Over the river, though. I can't reach that one, can I? I can! Nice! Little bonus one at the end there. Where are the insect villagers, Nintendo? I really want to have just like a worm on my island. <laughs> Another 11 points. Wow! What? What did I catch there that was worth so much? Sounds like 6,000. Uh, something else? Is it time to redeem the points? No, no, no. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll keep going. Oh wait, you're here until 8 p.m.? Oh, uh, right, the event over at 6 p.m., but you're here until 8 p.m., so I can, okay. So we can just keep catching up until 6. Fair enough. I 
I still, I still hope, I still have hope that they might consider redoing the Monster Hunter crossover and I'll one day have a Palico on this island. <laughs> that would be amazing. How am I so bad at this? <laughs> there we go. Hello. Hi, what's up? Welcome to the internet. I'm playing Animal Crossing, if that wasn't obvious. It's my 100th day on the island, in a row. And the bug competition is happening, and I'm not doing very well at it. I don't know why I keep going this way, there's never any bugs here. <laughs> Ants. Wow, this has been a pretty rubbish go, this one. This is this might be my worst one yet. I've only caught three. Ah! A mosquito. Why am I so bad at this? <laughs> oh, there was one there. I can't see the ones on the flowers. Aha! Nope. Aha! Check my actual castle. No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I see something. Yes, okay. We turned it around. We got some points. We're doing alright. Any more points out there? Perhaps. Yes, ants! Wait, locust as well? <gasps> Could it be? <gasps> Wait, there's a butterfly over there too! <gasps> Am I gonna get 10 points? Come on, 5, 4, 3, yes! Ba -da -ba -ba. 10 points, holy crap. Oh, my net broke. <laughs> cool, cool. Luckily, here's one I made earlier. Personal journey towards true infestation. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love all the characters in this game. I can't wait to see all the new characters coming next month. There's the little otter, and there's Pirate Gulliver, and there's going to be another update in August as well. Who knows what they're going to add? I really, really hope that Brewster's Roost is coming. I would love to have Brewster's Roost be a thing. Okay, nice. Right, that's got to be enough points, right? Some rain pants. Okay. Um, <laughs> we'll have one more go. One more go. This should hopefully get us well over the 100. And then we can cash in, get all the items, see what they're all about. Um, fill up our storage. <laughs> Complain about that for about 10 minutes. And um, then we can chat with our villagers and actually do the rest of our day. We haven't even gone inside Abel's yet, have we? I 
really can't believe I missed that. That was ridiculous. There we go. No, fl no bugs here. I don't know why I keep looking. I don't know why I keep going that way. There's never any bugs there. I say this every time. <laughs> this mosquito. There we go. <laughs> Oh, there's a little pond skater there too. Nearly missed that one. Come on. There we go. Okay. I think we're doing good. This should be the last one, right? To get us up to the 100 if we're not there already. We've done a lot in this hour. <laughs> actually wasn't that bad. I was panicking at first, thinking, oh god, are we going to actually be able to fit all this in? But, I mean, we've still got, like, three other attempts at this over the next couple months, even if we don't get everything today. And even then, we still actually managed to do quite a lot today. So, yeah, pretty good. Oh, my gosh. It is still ridiculously hot here today, though. I thought it was cooler. I said at the start of the stream, oh, it's cooler today, but I'm sweating again. It's crazy. When is this going to break? Like, when do we get the rain? I miss the rain. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, I think it might be time to check our points. Hundred nineteen! There we go. It must be time to dig into the reliquary. Ten points for a relic. There we go. Behold! A spider web. You still have a lot of points left over. Are you interested in some more? Yes. As long as you save the hold every time, that's amazing. Behold! <laughs> a bug cage! <laughs> Behold! A bug cage! Oh, but on the backpack? Oh, that sounds quite cool. Behold! A butterfly backpack? Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing too. Oh my gosh, we're getting some good stuff here. Behold! A spider door plate. I can't keep saying behold. Be behold! A ladybug umbrella. Oh, that sounds cool. Behold, a toy centipede. Behold, a termite mount. Oh, that sounds fun. Behold, 
Behold! A cockroach! Okay, <laughs> getting some weird stuff here now. Oh! Behold! A bug wand! Ooh! Nice! Ooh, a wallpaper! Behold! A butterfly wall! The epic tale of my pilgrimage to obtain these relics should be written on a scroll or something. Enjoy! And the bug off isn't over till 6pm. Go earn some more points if you want. Oh, we're not done! There's more to do! We haven't got any duplicates yet! Okay, we've got, we've got more to do, guys! Holy crap, that was some amazing stuff already! We won't look at them yet until we've got them all, so let's, let's keep going, let's keep going. Okay. Butterfly. Flutterby butterfly. Where are you? Wait, there's a pond skater. That'll do. Ooh. And a diving beetle too. Ooh, and it came right to me. Ooh. Okay, so you're telling me I need 11 points to have all the prizes. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Uh, 11 points, 11 points. I've got two. <laughs> That means I need nine points and then two with the bonus. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, now I'm panicking. Now I'm panicking again. Why did you do this? I have two goes at this. I don't think I'm going to get it all in one. Especially with those tempting balloons. Wait! up here we went oh man it's fine we'll just do another go we'll get it on the second go but i've run out of bugs where they all go reveal yourself ah no oh, you did <laughs> okay <laughs> oh my gosh thank you very much we are playing some animal crossing we're doing the bug off we're only a few points away from getting all the rewards and also, this is my 100th day of streaming in a row, if you can bloody believe it. Okay, we're out of time. Out of time, it's fine. I expected I'd need more than one go anyway. go so that's eight points i think we need three more points to get all the rewards so okay um we, oh man look at all the cool stuff we've got so far though i mean don't look at it yet <laughs> i haven't shown you what they look like yet but look at all the icons the icons not the rain pants i don't know where those came from um <laughs> excited to see what the wand looks like too. If it's just a giant worm. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, one more go. Here we go. Okay. 
Wow, we got like 4,000 bells for that as well. I said we might actually be able to pay for that billiard table in the cranny with just our bug off money today, and I think we might actually be able to do that. We just need like 3,000 more. Let's do it. Go. There's a mosquito here. There. There. It's gonna bite me. <laughs> there we go. These ants have been my lifesaver right now. <laughs> Old reliable ant. Wait, what's Kiki doing? Oh, wait, the ants are back. <laughs> Good old reliable ants. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, good old reliable ants. I think Marina's after something. Wait, aha! Mine! <laughs> Give me! <laughs> there we go. Good old reliable ant! This is crazy! <laughs> Why do the ants keep coming back? <laughs> I'm just gonna see what I can do to make the ants happen. Aw, oh, have I ruined it now? Have I become too aware? That's fine, we still got eight points out of that. I guess just hanging around the plaza here actually worked quite well. We didn't need to go off on on an adventure because they're all like around here. It's good. Yeah, I think next time there's a bug off, I might just prepare a bunch of rotten turnips in advance <laughs> and just put those around everywhere. Hey, look! Ants! Is that one going to come to me? Or do I have to come to it? I think this is my best score yet. And it's all thanks to ants. Thanks ants. Ants. Hey look, the ants are back! Nice, that was our best score yet. Perfect way to wrap up. Here we go. Fourteen points! Holy crap. There we go. Love it. Should be selling for quite a bit too. Well, actually, I guess the ants don't sell for much. Oh, 3,000 still. Okay, not bad. Oh, not quite enough for the billiard table. I am like, I think it was 77,000. Oh my gosh, that's so close. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just catch an ant and sell it. Okay, come on, come on. Is this enough time? Enough points, I mean. 31. That's enough for three more rewards, right? Behold! A ladybug rug. That sounds delightful. Behold! A bug aloha shirt. Behold! A spider web. Okay. The spider web is the same thing we got at the beginning, right? So I think we've got all the rewards now. 
Okay. Um, but wasn't I supposed to get like a trophy? <laughs> How do I get the trophy? In the mail. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Um, well, I guess that's a good place to just stop the bug off for now. I know I know it's still here for like half an hour, but we got all the rewards. We don't really need much else from that. I want to see if I can get up to the billiard table just with bug money. Here we go. <laughs> if I sell this, maybe that'll be enough. Sell bug. Three hundred bells. That's that's perfect. We did it. We did the bug off, and we can buy a billiard table. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow, I am out of money. Um, okay, let's head back to my house and let's put up all these decorations and things we got and see what they all look like. I reckon a few of these things could actually look quite good in our little um, front room. But it's already kind of that theme. Did I not get... Is it not instantly in the mail? Is it tomorrow? Fair enough. Okay, so... Butterfly wall. Oh my god, that is lovely. That is lovely. Oh my gosh. But the... Ah, uh, the ruins wall worked better but this is close oh my gosh I'm, I'm tempted hold on hold on what else ladybug rug oh that's delightful too oh my gosh I'll probably put that on. oh oh no <laughs> the song <laughs> okay hold on if we go into decorator mode that might be a bit easier ladybug rug oh that's perfect I can rotate that to hide the, the head bit. Yeah, so it's like that. Oh, that looks really cool. Okay, and then we've got the um, the billiard table. No, wait, hold on. <laughs> the record player. Let's put that back in. Right. So we have a spider web to hang up on the wall. We have a butterfly backpack. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's delightful. Oh, I love that. We have a bug cage backpack, which I'm guessing is very literal. Yeah, okay, cool. We have the butterfly wall. We have a toy cockroach. Oh my gosh, we could we could put these around this room and they, they wouldn't actually look that out of place. Like with the with the centipede as well, I'm guessing. I kinda like that. That's cool. Turn my mound. Mm, okay, that's not really good for here. <laughs> Still cool though. Um, artisanal bug cage. Oh, oh, that would look so good. Oh my gosh, I don't have the space for this. Wait, I think if we remove that. Yeah, there we go. Does that give us a space to put like a, a centipede here? Ah, oh, not quite. Okay. Uh, what's the other thing? So these hang up, I guess. Uh, ladybug umbrella. Oh, pretty much what I expected. <laughs> Billiard table. Okay. Um, so, oh, and the shirt as well. Okay, okay, there's some cool stuff here. Let's, um, let's focus on the spider webs then. If we can put these up. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, that works so well. 
I'm kind of wondering what if we did more of the bug off in like the next half hour and just got a few more points so we could get more of these things because they look very good. Okay, that's not quite what I expected. That's a bit more neon than <laughs> than I thought. Um, okay, very cool though. I love this. Wait, it's a wardrobe. Okay, um. <laughs> oh, it looks so cool. This this room has really come together. Right, let's um let's see what that. Oh wait. Oh, did it all go back into storage? Oh, I'm a fool. Sorry, I didn't realise it all went in my storage. Where'd the, where'd the shirt go? I wanted to actually try on those backpacks and stuff. Doo -doo -doo. There it is. What were the other things? What did I miss? Uh, ha! Um... Do, 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 do. Ah, there we go. And the bug cage. Um, I think that was it, right? Yeah, and the bug wand as well. Okay, let's, let's see all these things. So, bug wand. Oh, it's a little butterfly! Oh my gosh. Okay. And, uh, the butterfly backpack. Oh, it's a little butterfly! Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, we have got a look going on here. I love it. Um, the bug cage. Okay, slightly weird, I want to see. What, is there a bug in there, or is it just a weird plastic cage? <laughs> um, and the shirt. Okay. That's pretty cool, too. But, if yeah, if we stick to the fairy theme, I think... I think the, the bug wand is definitely something we want to use. Oh, but the cosmos wand works really well with this outfit, too. Hmm. And I'm not sure about the back the butterfly backpack or the or the star backpack, because the star backpack was good too. Oh, these, there's so many good choices now. Wait, we can customize that stuff? Wait, I didn't even think about this stuff being customizable. Custom customizable. Oh, just a sign. <laughs> okay, just this one thing. Oh, so we can have it be... Oh man, this is going to be really cool for like a Halloween room, but still, it's a bit too neon for, for what we're looking for. That's cool though. Okay. Well, there's some very, very cool things there. There we go. Lovely. Excellent. Well, that's definitely helped with this room as well. Just small little subtle extra things, but like those those spider webs on their own. Just, oh man, I love it. Oh, now there's so many butterflies. <laughs> Right, um, I need to get some money out if we're going to check our Ables. Also, I want to put that termite mound near Eugene's house. I should have taken that out, actually. <laughs> Forgot about that. music today. This is really nice. Is this like the bug off theme kind of thing?
Okay, right. What else we got going on? What have we got in the shop today? Still waiting for that royal crown to come back. Wait. Oh, we have the shorts for this, but this is the matching t-shirt. Oh, that would go great with this look. If I could get some shorts that work with it too. Which I do have, because I just said that. Um... <laughs> That's a bit too much. <laughs> okay, okay. That works. That's amazing. I love it. Do I get it in white or black though? They both look good. I'm trying to remember what shorts I already own are. I think they're the... Oh, I don't know. We'll just go with that. That's fine. I didn't actually mean to put this on. Um, <laughs> Hold on. I have to go back to my house. I'm not actually wearing any pants. <laughs> One moment. This is why you keep a dresser next to Able Sisters. That's not a bad idea, actually. Oh, that's the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, so I should have the matching shorts. Here. Okay, it was the black ones. Still, that actually looks quite good. It's like, it's like it fades out kind of thing. I actually quite like this look in general. This is a more casual fey princess look, you know? <laughs> when I'm just chilling. You know how it goes. <laughs> Okay, sure. <laughs> um, right. So, oh yeah, the termite mound. I did want that as well. What category would that be under? There. <laughs> do 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 do. I love this tune. This is a bop. Alright, we'll just have a termite mound like on the beach or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh, here, yeah, that would kind of work. That's a. Wow, that's actually quite a big mound. <laughs> Sure, <laughs> that's fine. Right, I think um, we'll do a couple couple more runs of the bug off then, see what we can grab. Because getting more of those spider webs would be good. Getting a couple more termite mounds as well, actually. <laughs> We've only got like 15 minutes, but we can squeeze in like three, four, five runs. So I saw some good butterfly over here. Some good prime butterfly. Whew, I thought it was going to go out to sea for a moment. Speaking of go out to sea, I cannot wait for that update next week. It looks so good. We're only, we're only a week away. I can't wait to dive and Pascal and Pirate Gulliver. I know it's like the only things they've shown, um, but I'm sure there's going to be more little secret, like hidden features as well. And I, I hope there's some quality of life stuff too. Like, especially when it comes to buying things and crafting things, that'd be good. At the very least, even if not in this one, we know there's another update coming in August. 
And yeah, I know I keep going on about it, but Brewster's Roost, man. Maybe that's not the August thing. I can see that being more of a like autumnal thing, you know, when people start selling their pumpkin spice lattes. <laughs> I guess you gotta consider the fact that this game goes out to both the North and Southern Hemisphere, so it doesn't necessarily have to be something relevant to just the Northern Hemisphere. Really, Brewster's Roost could just come out at any time, really. I mean, there's no, no limit on coffee. Oh, I nearly missed that! <laughs> it was right there, oh my gosh! Oh man, so many butterflies! Ooh. Oh! Oh, come on! Oh. <laughs> so weird that they'd rather jump into the lake than be caught. <laughs> okay. Still, we got a lot of points there. We might even be able to get the silver trophy if we if we really push it. Ants? Ants! Sorry Marina, sorry everybody, everybody in the village that I'm like bumping past to try and catch these bugs. I'm just, I'm determined. I didn't buy another slingshot. I knew that's something I forgot. Oh! Eight, seven, six, five, four, three! Okay, no, no more. <laughs> there we go. Wow, we got 8,000 for that as well. Holy crap. Yeah, I, I think we're just going to keep doing this all the way up to 6 o'clock, I guess, actually. Might as well. Like I said, those spider webs are actually really good decoration. And the termite mounts. Maybe dot around a few more of those toy centipedes as well. Depends what we get, really. Marina, what were you looking at there? You were looking at something there, Marina. What was it? There! <laughs> When's International Coffee Day? That would make sense if they did that for Leif. I guess they might do that for Brewster too. September? I guess that, yeah, that would be about the season, like I said, pumpkin spice latte start appearing. Yeah, makes sense. October, 1st of October, okay. I mean, I really hoped they were going to do something for International Pirate Day. And then it turns out next week they're just going to be adding Pirate Gulliver anyway, so we don't even need a special day for it, it's just happening. Um, and yeah, I really hope there's going to be some like piratey themed items, you know. Like a Jolly Roger flag, maybe. And like a wooden treasure chest and like a pile of gold or something like that. Doubloons. Maybe a cannon. <laughs> I'm not sure if they'll add a gun to this game, but maybe the cannon would be 
like weird enough that it's not technically like a gun. A lifeboat to put on the beach. Oh, we could do so many cool things with it. I hope there's some cool things. Also, I wonder if Pirate Gulliver and regular Gulliver would count as two separate visitors, so you could theoretically get them both in, like, subsequent days. And yeah, Pascal giving, like, uh, and like the mermaid theme DIY and yeah I think there's gonna be some really cool sea, sea theme stuff because the beach is the area that we we haven't done much with on our island there we go 10 more points Nine thousand bells for that! Holy crap! What's what's happened suddenly? All the all the like royal emperor things have coming out. Um, how do I know how many points I've had in total? Oh, why did I? I didn't mean to do the rules. I meant to do the. Okay. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. <laughs> dum -de -dum -de -dum. Fine, let's do a round. Whatever. <laughs> But yeah, I think I think it'd be cool. All the swimming and diving and stuff. And um, if that's coming, then that means like the the harvesting and the farming and stuff might be coming in in autumn as well. Looking forward to it all. There's still quite a few features that have been in previous Animal Crossing games that aren't in this one yet. And diving, the swimming stuff, was one of them. So if they are like adding all the things that existed before, you know, you've got things like the, the Dream Suite, diving, going vegetables, Brewster's Roost, um, gyroids. It would be amazing if gyroids came back. Um, being able to make your own museum exhibit so I could actually use that space of our ball exhibit and actually do something with it instead. That'd be good. Why am I here? <laughs> Yay, there we go. Okay, we got like we got like eight minutes left on this competition. We can squeeze in like two more. Just <laughs> if I'm really really quick, <laughs> and I don't accidentally go through all the rules again. And if we actually see some bugs, that'd be good too. Ooh. I'm so sorry, Coco! Oh my gosh! I'm so, I'm so sorry! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so sorry, oh my gosh. Okay, everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. We're good, everything's fine. Ants? Ants! See? All worked out. going on with this mosquito. There we go. <laughs> oh, ah, whatever. We'll get them on the next one. That would make it easier. 
There we go. Thirteen points. Nice. Okay, can I squeeze in two more goes? Oh, it's close. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, <laughs> hurry up. Okay, yeah, we can fit in two more. We can 100% fit in two more. Let's do it. Where'd those butterflies go? Oh, there they are. Woo! I was too fast. I was too hasty. Slow down. Okay, I hear a mosquito. I see a butterfly. <laughs> I see a big butterfly. Good old reliable ants. Come on. Yes. Good old reliable ants. There they are. <laughs> Good old reliable ants. No! <laughs> okay, it doesn't work all the time. <laughs> hey, we still got nine points though. Holy crap, we're doing well. Reliable ants. Aw. Aw. <laughs> they let me down. The good old reliable ants. Ah, well, that's it for that one. We can probably squeeze in one more. Come on. Bells as well. Ooh. Yes, one more, one more. Come on, one more round. Do it. Yes. Bonus round. This is going to go over time, but I think it will still let us do it. Yeah. jumped into my net. <laughs> I'm gonna check the top right corner because there's probably a bunch up here. Maybe not, actually. Okay, never mind. I 
thought I thought I would see a bunch there, but there was none. <laughs> ah, there's one. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. Well, honestly, any any others we get now, it's all just a bonus anyway. Like we're not really aiming for anything. It'd be cool to get the silver trophy, but you know, it's gonna be happening every month until September, so we got plenty more chances. We got all the all the prizes at least, so doing good, doing good. Good old reliable ants? Good old reliable ants. Good old reliable ants? Good old reliable ants. <laughs> oh my god. Good old reliable ants? Good old reliable ants. Oh my gosh, this is silly. <laughs> Good old reliable ants. <gasps> oh my gosh. Good old reliable ants. Ooh. Bonus butterfly. <laughs> ah, because I got that butterfly, I guess the ants are like, well, bye. You don't love us anymore. <laughs> but I love you, Ants. I love you so. Yeah, July is apparently going to be packed with bugs and fishes and all the new sea creatures, exactly. Yeah, there's going to be so much stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Our museum, Blathers, is going to be swarmed. <laughs> like, <laughs> poor Blathers. Right, well, hey, 11 points. Oh! 12 points. Nice. Okay. We did it. We're done with the event. It was very, very enjoyable. For some reason, I found the fishing one more difficult. This is actually quite chill once we got into it. And we made a lot of money as well. And honestly, I think the items we got from this are even cooler than the fishing one. There were a couple cool things from the fishing one, but pretty much everything from this one is, is great. So the next bug off is all set for July. Okay. How did you enjoy this bug off? Our regular celebration of bugs. Were you spiritually enriched? Speaking of enrichment, you appear to have quite a wealth of points saved up. Are you ready to redeem them for the priceless bug related relics I have gathered for the event? Let's do it. 59? Holy crap, we got like an extra 50 points? Holy crap. A bug wand! <laughs> Behold! A butterfly wall! Behold! A termite mount! Yes! Another termite mount! Give me another termite mount! Ah! Oh well. I can probably give that to... Who would look good in that? Maybe Eugene, actually. <laughs> Do I want to ruin his greaser look, though? Oh, old. Ah. Well, we got an extra termite mound at least. There will be another bug off in July. I feel the bugs will bless you then. This is my prophecy. Okay. Um. <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, we got another termite mound. Nice. Well, there we go. That was the bug off, everybody. We had a lot of fun with that. We've got Eugene moved into the island. And, um, yeah, our island, speaking of our island, it is looking spectacular. Like, I've I spruced it up a lot, and I'm really happy with where most of it is. We've still got a few a few things to iron out. We've still got a few wonky bits, areas that aren't quite done. 
Um, but, yeah. As a whole, I mean, yeah, we need, like, okay, let, let's do let's do a little tour of the island before we wrap up for today, then. So, Waffleham is in a really good place. After a hundred days of working on this island, I'm really, really happy with where it is. Um, let's start from, let's start from down below. So, yeah, you come into the waiting room here. Um, oh, treats for Sonia. Oh, I can do that first, definitely. Thank you very much. Oh, actually, might not be a good time. She she's she looks exhausted. She it's, she must be so hot right now. Are you okay, Sonny? You're like stretched out on the carpet. Do you want a treat? I'm not sure if I should bother her or not. <laughs> um. Oh no, she's fine. She's coming to it now that I've shaken the bag. <laughs> there you go. There you go, Puppet. There you are. Yeah, she does not handle the heat well. She's a super long haired cat. Um, and as you can imagine, the weather is not kind to her, but she's doing alright. She's got a big bowl of water and some treats, haven't you? You're alright. There we go. Okay, so. We come in from, from the airline. We arrive at the waiting room. Honestly, don't think there's really anything I need to do to this waiting room. I think this is pretty much perfect. I'm really happy with how this is. Um, I do think if we could maybe actually sit on the, be able to sit on the chair, that'd be good because this chair actually isn't seatable. Seatable is a word. For some reason, you can only sit on it like that, which is awkward. But yeah, whatever. That's fine. Um, then you come up here. So I have this big area here that I have no idea what to do with. It's just covered in roses right now. Down here we have this big beach thing that I have no idea what to do with. It's just covered in gnomes right now. Um, one of the points on the beach is going to become like our, our diving area with like scuba gear and stuff. Um, we've got Octavian's house up here. And again, we have this little road that like I want to do something with, but I'm not sure what exactly. It's very This whole area is very plain right now. This little section of the island over here so i want to do something with it so i'm not sure what yet uh we've got the lovely park again not really any complaints about that i think that's all come out really well happy with that we've got our little plaza with our little little rainbow seating area our little cookie cart water fountain garden like it like it like it we've got our five star restaurant again i think this has pretty much been great ever since we finished it i haven't had to tinker with it at all love it We got our sound stage here, our festival stage for the Pride Parade, Coco and the Nuts performing. We got our lovely little festival area here, all the cushions and picnics and porta potties. Love it. Um, little beach area here with Marina's house again, kind of, kind of a bit bare, kind of a bit open here, but maybe that's okay. Um, we've got the big rainbow garden. Really, really happy with this. Just needs an extra green mum. Literally, just one green mum, and we'll be done. Uh, we got Waffleham Studios. Again, haven't really touched it since we finished it. Kind of happy with it. Maybe add some walls to this section, or maybe it's fine as is. Um, yeah, I think this is all good. We got our big residential area here. Nice little community area. Um, again, kind of a big empty open beach space. Not really doing much with it, but maybe when the summer update comes, we'll have some stuff we can put there. Get him, Pekin. Get him. Um, a big empty area up here as well. Not really doing much with this beach at all, really. Um, graveyard. Super happy with the graveyard. Oh, my gosh. Judy's house has moved as well, which means we can now terraform this area. In fact, maybe that's something we can do. Because we want to move, we want to squeeze this area in so that we can expand the area on the other side of the river and move Kiki's house there. So, una momento, this shouldn't take too long. We'll just, we'll just bring this all in to about here. Maybe a bit more there. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I reckon we can just take it all the way in, honestly. All the way up to Hazel's house there. Mm. 
I guess we want to keep the, like, jump jump pads, I guess is what we call them. We want to keep, like, a way to, to hop over. Hmm. Awkward. There we go. Oh, or not. Oh, come on. Let me just... Let me just do the thing that I want to do. Oh, that's so awkward. I think I'm gonna have to do it like this. There we go. <laughs> it's gonna do do it again, isn't it? I'm not gonna be able to do this. <laughs> There we go. Okay, we did it. Mm, no, that's fine actually. If we if we did it like this. That's an actual... Hold on. <laughs> oh, wrong thing again. Oh my gosh, I always pick the wrong tool. Wait, why is it not just... Eh, there we go. <laughs> so I'm wondering if we can just have like a little sort of island here. Weed. Oh my gosh, it's so finicky when there's like a fence involved. I gotta walk all the way around. <laughs> there we go. doing this so that we can bring this one out because we need space for Kiki's house here and so we're, we're just sort of shifting the river down a bit that's all because where Kiki's house currently is that would be where I would put Brewster's Roost if that's added to the game probably roughly around there yeah, see? Wow. Just that one little thing and we've got so much more space to work with here. Yeah, I was doing an island tour. <laughs> so much for that. I got distracted. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I'm happy with how the island is right now. I think we've got a lot of cool stuff going on. And um, after all these months, I think we've really got it in a place that I'm, I'm proud of, you know? Waffle ham pride. There we go. That's given us a lot more space and it still keeps that sort of look of the river intact. Of being sort of like a bit swampy, a bit wild before it like leads out into the sea. Uh, maybe I have pushed it a bit too far here actually. Yeah, we can, we can wind that in a little bit. Go. Now does this work? No. <laughs> hmm, 
thinking, how can I make this be something? I don't want it to look too too square, you know? I want it to be like believably something. Yeah, there we go. That's better, there we go. Good to know. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? I almost had it, I think. I almost had it, and then I just had to had to go that step further, didn't I? Oh dear. Maybe that's fine. Like on the mini map it looks fine. Okay, so here's the graveyard. <laughs> Really happy with how that's all turned out. We could probably do a bit more with Sherb's like front garden and stuff. Like that's just kind of been left there. Um, bridge over to the campsite. Love it. Campsite's really good. We've got the big archaeological dig site up there, which also, again, it's, it's kind of taking up a lot of the island, but I don't really know what else I'd do with it, so it's fine for now. Our big secret pirate cove over here with a secret waterfall entrance. With, with a secret waterfall entrance. Wait, did they, did they fix this? It's the hedge blocking it. Oh, does it not work because the hedge is in the way? Oh my gosh. I didn't think about how the hedge on top could affect it. But I, that, that does make sense. It's okay, we can still put one in. We can actually do this and then they can't climb down anyway. Yeah, that should work. That should be good. Secret waterfall entrance! Yeah, there we go! To our secret pirate cove where red will appear every now and then. Love it. Kiki's house is going to move down there to where we just laid out um, for a sort of witchy hut in the woods. Um, we've got our really cool museum plaza with our ball exhibit of all things round. Love it. Again, if they ever add the way to customize your own wing in the museum, which has been a thing in previous games, then we'll be able to move all that inside and then have a big open space for... Well, maybe the coffee shop could even go here, actually. That would be a pretty cool place to put it. Next to the diner kind of thing. Choices. Um, there's the diner. Eugene's house. Market area. I think we need a few more stools for the market area still. But oh, I need so much wood. <laughs> and we've got a nice little outdoorsy pond here. Which is going to lead into a farm once farming is added here. Um, and there's our big fairy circle. And these will be the mystical fairy woods. When it gets to autumn and all the mushroom items start being added, we can really, really spruce this castle up and do some amazing things with it. But I really like where it is already, honestly. Really, really cool. Yeah, so holy crap, 100 days, guys. This whole, everything you just saw took me 100 days to build. And we're not even done yet. We've still got all these little spaces on the island that we haven't even figured out what to do with yet, so... 100 more days, 100 days forever, forever waffleham.com. Yeah. Love it. Anyway, that is where we're going to wrap up for today. Um, I have gone over time slightly. Um, sorry to those that have just joined. Um, the stream is wrapping up now. But we'll be back again tomorrow for day 101 of Animal Crossing. Um, where we'll also be doing our sort of pride parade. Um, for the month. Um, it is Pride Month and we've been working really hard on um, getting all of our things sorted, getting like the, the rainbow like festival area all done up, the rainbow garden and stuff like that. So I think tomorrow we'll actually um, pull that off. 
But before I forget, because I did almost wrap up there, um, did I water my flowers today? Because we're not going to get the green mum if I didn't. We did water that one, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm not sure if we watered these ones up here. Because there's a chance from these purples that I could maybe, maybe get a green mum. Maybe. Possibly. There we go. Right. Well, with that, I will wrap up. But thank you so much for joining me today. Um, you've all been amazing. Thank you for keeping keeping this crazy train going over the lockdown, over these past 100 days. It's been scary, strange, weird times in the world. And um, having this little project to work on every day and keep the street going, it, it did a lot to help me with my mental health. And I couldn't have, couldn't have just done it all by myself. I'm really glad all of you guys were there. On, on all these days just to keep me company and keep this keep this going it's been a really really fun time but this isn't the end although this might be the end of the 100 day streak um, and I'll probably take a few breaks over the next few weeks um, we'll, we'll be back into Animal Crossing you know this isn't the end of Animal Crossing this isn't the end of Waffle Ham I mean we'll be live tomorrow first of all um, but also yeah we want to check out the new update when that goes live um, we got birthdays to celebrate with all our villagers. Who knows what? We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Whenever there's an update, I think you can be pretty sure that we'll be revisiting Waffleham. Um, but yeah, tune in tomorrow for day 101 and celebrating Waffleham Pride. I think it'll be a good one. Um, I will see you then. You've all been amazing. Thank you so much. And, and, and I really mean it. Thank you guys so much because this, this has been really stressful times. There's been lots going on, not just in the world, but in our lives and like in the network and stuff like that. Lots of stressful, um, stressful things, lots of uncertain things, lots of just things. Um, and you guys have, have really helped just sort of keeping me company, keeping some semblance of normality going. And um, I hope, even if just in a little way, I've I've done the same for you somehow, giving you something to to do and watch every day. Um, yeah, no one really knows what the future is going to hold. I mean, lockdown, you know, second wave. Who knows what's going to happen? Maybe we do do a hundred more days, <laughs> not through choice but <laughs> through necessity. Um, <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what happens over the next next few next few weeks. We'll figure it all out as we go. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. You've all been amazing. Let's, um, let's see who's online. Let's see if we can spread the love to, to anyone else today. Who is online right now? Who have we got? Uh, ba -da -ba -ba. uh, ba -da -ba -ba. we're going to read G. We're going to read G. That's what we're going to do. So head on over there and, um, I'll see you tomorrow. At about uh, six o'clock, six o'clock tomorrow. It'll be slightly later tomorrow, six till nine, roughly. Um, so see you then. Goodbye.